What's going on YouTube? My name is Black Sonic and I am back. Finally, finally back. Sorry I've been away for a while, but I've spent all of my time trying to get these diamond camos and I finally got the diamond SMGs. What you're seeing on your screen right now is a diamond MP7 and I'll go through the SMGs so it'll be MP7 right through to the Scorpion Evo. It's, there's only six, so I'll show you them as you unlock them. But right, let me get down to it. How you get them. You get them by getting a hundred headshots and that's like half of the camos and then you have to play without perks and play without attachments and you have to get 20 revenge kills, you have to get 20 double kills, you have to get 10 bloodthirsty medals and that's how you unlock gold for one SMG. You have to do that for every SMG. You have to unlock them all and then you'll magically sort of unlock the diamond camo once you've unlocked all of the SMGs. What you're seeing on your screen right now is a PDW 57. This is one of my favorite SMGs. Massive magazine size, shoots pretty fast, and it's a free bullet kill as far as I know. So, yeah, these are the diamond camos, right. How hard is it to get them? It is quite hard, but there's special sort of ways of getting them. There's ways around sort of spending a lot of time, which I ended up spending a mass amount of time because I didn't really know about it. And it's only when I was getting I think it was when I was getting the chicken CQB and when I was getting the Scorpion Evo that I found out about it because I was just playing all the game modes that I like and not playing the ones that I should have been playing to try and get these gold. What you're seeing right now is a Vector K10. But yeah, I was just playing Kill Confirmed because it's one of my favourite gameplays, one of my favourite game modes even. Um, playing a bit of Hardpoint, bit of Demolition and... I don't really think about like what was the easiest game mode to get headshots in because I was thinking you get headshots when you get headshots sort of like I'll get it as I play through but that was the wrong decision the quickest way to get them is in free for all just this is just the headshots so this is half of the camos that you need you should definitely 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 play free for all or hardcore free for all if you're good at hardcore game modes you could play hardcore free for all one burst and one burst to the head and that's it but usually i would take a laser sight and i would take i usually on all my smgs i have a foregrip but i would take it off so the gun would kick but it would kick in the right direction it would kick up because i never aim high enough so if you aim sort of like neck area by accident it will kick up to the head anyway and you'll still get the headshot but yeah i usually use laser sight and then I'll either use a long barrel or a silencer just because it gives the gun more range. And oh, yeah, those are the best attachments I'd say. And for the rest of the camos, it's just any game mode you're best with. When you're trying to play without perks and play without attachments, it's very hard. This is the MSMC by the way. But it's very hard trying to play without perks and play without attachments. But because that's two camos, I thought... They're both 150 kills without perks and one is without attachment so it's best to do them at the same time and if you're going into games with hardly any like advantage you've got to at least play a game mode that you're good at so I did that and then getting revenge kills and all of that was kind of easy. This is the chicken CQB. This is probably one of the most diverse kind of SMGs out there. It's you can pop fire it for long range you could switch it if you put um if you put select fire on it it will slow down the rate of fire so it shoots straight but obviously it shoots constantly turns it into a fully auto which is it basically turns it into like a vector because it's it is proper like it's accurate i like it it's one of my favorites but not one of my favorites as in i'd use it all the time one of my favorites as in uh, I'm not really sure, but it's definitely one of my favourites and I like the way it looks and it's got different, if you look closely, this is the only SMG with different sized diamonds on it. You see the front of the barrel, you've got different sized diamonds to the ones that are along the side and I just thought that was quite cool. It does look a bit, it does look a bit strange, but I thought it was quite cool. This one is the Scorpion Evo. This is probably the hardest SMG to get simply because of the recoil. I know I said earlier the recoil was a good thing, but you have to use foregrip on this. 
because the recoil was just so massive. With this one, it's best to just put on a laser sight. No point aiming down sight. You may as well put on a laser sight, aim high, and shoot for the head. I die so many times. And by the way, guys, if you're worried about KD, or if you're worried about win-loss ratio, anything like that, KD ratio, I really advise not to go for the diamond camos because you will die more than you will win. This is just something that happens because you're playing without perks, playing without attachments. You're constantly trying to get headshots, so you're not aiming at, like, you won't win most of the gunfights because they're aiming at a big wide chest of yours, and you're, all you're aiming at is their head. This is the same guns I'm going to go through, but on a different map, Hijack, just so you can see the guns in the sunlight, just in a different environment. So, yeah, right. My favourite SMG. That, my favourite SMG to use would be the MSMC, simply because it's so powerful, and then it would be the PDW, because that's kind of just as powerful. A little bit more recoil, but massive magazine size. The worst SMG, I would probably say the worst smg would be the scorpion evo i didn't really like using it the rate of fire is massive but if you got a chicken cqb put select fire on it and put rapid fire on it it shoots faster than a scorpion a lot faster than a scorpion so i don't know why everyone's saying that's the fastest shooting smg but I think it's one of the worst ones. It's quite weak. It doesn't really matter that it shoots very fast because the bullets don't register that well, i found. You may as well use... You would get a faster kill with an MSMC or a PDW, I'd say. The easiest one to get gold. I'd say that was the Vector K10. Simply because it had hardly any recoil. It's got... Well, especially if you put a foregrip on it, that's like... It's like the MP7, but weaker. Well, the MP7 from Modern Warfare 3, but obviously a lot weaker. I just thought, I don't know, it's just easy, It's just the easiest to get gold for me. It might be different for you. The SMG, I think, looks best in Diamond. I like the way the Vector K10 looks in Diamond, just because it's got all the Diamond up the side. I would like to say it was the MSMC because it's my favourite gun, but... I don't think it looks the best in Diamond. I think the best one has to either be the Chicken CQB or the PDW. Just because the way I like the I like the way the PDW looks. It kind of looks like a little spaceship or something. Is it worth prestiging your gun? <clears throat> well, if you want, em you see, I got the emblem on the back, and I got the clan tag on it as well. That's all prestiging your gun does. That's just a little side note. How different is diamond to gold? Well, most of the bits, any metal bit on your gun, or any bit that doesn't come up in colour when you put a camo on it, that will be black. It's kind of gold in this game, same with black ops, is kind of black and gold. It's not necessarily just gold. Like all of the metal bits, anything like that, when you put a normal camo on it, <coughs> sorry, that will turn to black. And the rest of it will be gold. But when you unlock diamond, like, there's diamond in places that wouldn't normally be black. But there's quite, it just turns everything into a sort of modern warfare gold. Where everything is gold. And then they've just put diamonds on top of it. So I think it's quite good. Will I be getting any other guns gold? Or diamond? <sighs> Highly doubt that. It took me a very long time. And it wasn't very fun doing it. Honestly, I've never I've never got such a headache from this game trying to do something. When you try to do something in this game, it just doesn't happen half the time. I'm prestige level 5 now and I'm just going to carry on prestiging. But that's my time. This is the diamond camo on the SMGs. It took me a long time to get this. A lot of work went into making this video as well. Please like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much.